Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this problem. Problem 4.36 from Sadiku book. The question is solve for the current I in the circuit of figure 4.103 using Thevenin's theorem. Hint, find the Thevenin equivalent seen by this 12 ohm resistor. Okay, we are given the hint. Now, let's check this out. So... Let's take out this 12 ohm resistor and we need to find out the Thevenin equivalent at this point here. So this is point A and this is point B. Okay, maybe let's redraw the circuit to find out the Thevenin voltage or VTH. Finding VTH. Okay, now maybe I will use black for the circuit. Okay, we still have that 10 ohm and that 50 volt voltage source. Okay, and then we open this resistor here and this is not A and this is not B, but we still have that 30 volt voltage source. So we have 30 volt. Okay. And then we also still have this 40 ohm resistor. Okay. And this is the circuit for finding the Thevenin voltage, which is the V between A and B. But here, straight off the bat, if we take this as our ground, we know that Vb is equal to 30 volt. Okay, so let's save that Vb is equal to 30 volt. But then our task is now to find out what Va is relative to the ground. But then we can use voltage divider for doing that which is 40 divided by 40 plus 10 multiplied by 50. 40 plus 10 is 50 and that will cancel out here. So we will have Va is equal to 40 volt. Therefore, the Thevenin voltage Vth is equal to Vab, right? And Vab meaning that Va minus Vb. But VA is 40 and VB is 30. So 40 minus 30. Therefore, the Thevenin voltage is equal to 40 minus 30 is 10 volt. Okay. And I think that is a good sign. Okay. Now for finding the Thevenin resistance, we need to redraw the circuit. Finding the Thevenin resistance. Okay, let's use black again. We replace all the voltage shorts with short circuit. So we will have this 10 ohm here. And this 50 volt replaced by short circuit. Okay. And then we still have open circuit there. So this is A and this is B. But this 30 volt is replaced by short circuit. So we will have it like this. This is not B, and we still have that 40 ohm. And we need to see the equivalent resistance from this point here. But then that is just the 40 and 10 parallel with each other. So the RTH is equivalent to 40 parallel with 10. That will be 40 multiplied by 10 divided by 40 plus 10. Okay, now we will have 400 as numerator and then 50 as denominator. 400 divided by 50, 50 that will be the Thevenin resistance that will be 8 ohm. Okay, so we have two important value which is the Thevenin equivalent voltage and then the Thevenin equivalent resistance. Okay, let's save this value and clean up the board to see what we can do from here. 
Okay, we have the Thevenin equivalent voltage is 10 volt, so we can draw it like this here. I will have VTH, which is 10 volt. And then I also have the Thevenin equivalent resistance, which is equal to 8 ohm. Why did that 50 go tested? Okay. So this is our equivalent Thevenin circuit here. But remember that we take out this 12 volt, I mean 12 ohm resistance. So this is point A and this is point B. And let's let's put it back. So I will have that 12 ohm resistance. Okay. And we are asked about this current here. I. Okay, I think we can use KVL here because this is a loop, right? Like that. So we can use KVL at loop I. KVL at loop I. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, we start from this voltage source. So the current is flowing from the negative side to the positive side. So our sign will be negative. So I will have minus 10. And then plus, I will have 8 ohm here. But we did voltage, so we can use Ohm's law to get the voltage, which is the resistance multiplied by the current. So 8I. And then the other resistor here is 12 ohm. So I will have 12I. Okay, we have all the three components and all of that will equal to zero. Okay, minus 10, maybe let's put to the right hand side. 8 and 12 will become 20. So I have 20i equal to 10. And so i is equal to 10 divided by 20. Therefore, i is equal to 0 0.5. The unit here will be ampere. But you can also convert it into milliampere. So that will be 500 milliampere. And I think that is the final answer for this question. Okay, let's highlight that. So we have solved this using Thevenin theorem. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.